I can put on some music if you guys want. Otherwise, uh, we can have it muted, I guess. I don't really mind. Either way. Let me look at everything. Cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. Do people want to be in the voice chat? I can make it a thing or I can not make it a thing. I don't really care. If people want to be... Uh, my video doesn't music because I play with the That's fine. I mean, I want to say about like music over here. I was trying to something a little shitty. Okay, cool. But like, uh, let me pull up the thing. Cool. How the fuck? There we go. Um. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but just this not gonna be too funny. I oftentimes just mute the the video I'm analyzing anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. Uh yeah, I just mute the video. Uh I recorded Drip's match. Motherfucker put in the twenty sixteen Ghana trailer. Fuck you. Someday I'm gonna download the movie, download the movie and actually watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna do that tonight. Find a torrent of it or something. Ooh, I said the T word. Ooh, shouldn't say that. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Videos. I recorded it. I swear. Is it this? It might be this. Um, I think in the, uh, in the future you can just like link um. If you, I'll show a way to do it. Where is it? Okay, first of all, pause. Uh, there's a way to um, find the message link on Discord if you have um, developer tools uh, on somehow. Uh, you can find it in your own time. But uh, this sounds like Twin Peaks. It's uh, the name of the song is Chai Lat. It's Chai Latte by Abstraction on two two hour track challenge season five. It's the chill station, so I guess it's pretty chill. So whatever. Um, but either way, uh, what was I gonna say? You can like link those sort of things to like link replays. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's put on VLC. Let's see if VLC is working. Oh, there we go. There it shows up. Cool, so this is match one. So, um, match one, grip versus, uh, Jedi. Oh yeah, cool, you can see the, uh, the thing over there. You can see the, n the name of the song. I'll move it over. Cool, there we go. So now it's actually readable. Okay, so, uh, this is just, this is one game, so I'll just do grip versus Jedi, cool. I'll do bullet points. I'll move my mic over so I can actually type. Cool. So let's do this. I haven't done analysis in a while, so maybe I'm a bit rusty, but you know what? Let's go. Oh, I need to meet the video. Yeah. Okay, so before we even start, the main thing to know about Jedi is that Squiggly is going to have charge. You can't really do anything about it. Um. The main, the absolutely main thing to know is that like the 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 terra the. Oh, so I'm not gonna read the chat. I'm gonna read the chat after I'm done with everything. So just so you guys know, uh, it'll show show up. It'll still show up over there, but like I'm not reading it, so I'm just gonna put it away. Just because I don't want to get distracted when I'm trying to form my thoughts, especially because I'm rusty. So, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um. So Jedi's team, uh, Squiggly normally doesn't have charge at the start of the game, right? But Jedi's team is built, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh, the the setup that he has is really makes it really really hard for him not to actually be able to charge. And Fortune is not one of those characters that can immediately discourage charging all that well. You might be able to. Uh, can you see my mouse here? You can't actually see my mouse here either. Here either. Um. Why can you not see my mouse? The oh, there we go. Yeah, you can. It's just uh, black, so you can't really see it properly. No, I don't have it. I actually checked that I didn't. But it's just a, it's a black mouse, so you can't really... 
Oh, you can't see my mouse if I'm not highlighted on the video. Okay, that's weird, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So I guess um this will be fine. Cool. So um if Fortune goes super jump and then head toss, you might be able to threaten her right as she's charging because the big because like big men will be here. And then she will go Shigley will go over here. And then you kinda wanna do like wanna super jump and then double jump and then throw the head immediately. And then you can like pressure her as she is charging, which is pretty important, I think. Um, because being able to, because you want, the thing is like Squiggly will win scenarios that most characters in neutral simply do not just by waiting. Squiggly is like, cause like most characters in Scoggles don't win by waiting, but if you wait long enough, Squiggly wins a neutral scenario, but just because she had the time to charge, which is really really important. So that's a thing that distinguishes her from the rest of the cast. Um, the, there are some characters that like kind of to do that like be, like um not bella valentine kind of has needle uh, like vile charge bill has hype robo has heads but squiggly um stance is the biggest threat uh in this sort of category of things that they get to win uh things that they like neutral scenarios that they win because you waited for it so um and because you can move in the stance while most characters that do their uh, resource thing they can't really move so Squiggly automatically also wins in, other, in that other way. So being able to pressure her for actually charging a stance is really, really important because you can't punish her otherwise. So the best thing to do here would be to super jump over and then like go up and then pressure her and throw the head down. Maybe it'll hit her, maybe it won't. The best thing, the optimal thing you'd want here is to put the head behind her and then like do a standing heavy punch um, to like make her block immediately as opposed to just run ramp into something. Or force her to uh, cancel the stance charge and do something else, in which case she doesn't have charge right now, which is super super key, because now level 2 sync is not a thing, uh, heavy DP fully invincible is not a thing. She only would have, um, uh, she only would have daisy pusher as a reversal, and fortune can just avoid that by just uh, doing a heavy fiber. Uh, because heavy fiber is frame 1 invul, I'm pretty sure it will just dodge it, and then you can, like, uh, heavy fiber and then do the jump cancel and then um, neutral jump and then just land with the heavy kick or something and you can punish her for free I get no actually yeah no because it's throw invincible yeah yeah that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. cool cool so seven uh, like nothing has happened in the game I'm, I'm, I'm still talking for like 10 minutes so let's just go in uh, let me just write that down round start because in these sort of scenarios it's really important to have a good round start plan as well and because Jedi's game plan is really really set and he will only change if you are uh, strictly attacking it really strongly. He will only change it then. So you need to have that. Uh... A plan to pressure charge. Fortune can do that with super jump up. Double jump towards head toss. Cool. Maybe. Also, I'm not a fortune player, so maybe the all this is wrong. Like, maybe you have to place it some other way or something like that. Something for you to test. But I'd say that's like, the, if I was playing this team, I would, uh, this character, I would probably be looking into that. One thing I used to do when I was playing Beowulf is I'd just jump forward and hit, uh, uh, jumping hay punch and call Brass alongside it because Brass would just hit the entire screen and she wouldn't be able to charge immediately. And that gives me, like, immediate pressure to go with. Either way, what the fuck am I on the screen? So that's why the backing off is like not really that good, but Jedi didn't do the thing that I thought he would, so maybe this in, it's in the middle of a set, can't really say that too much. Um, but because he's super back, uh, nobly he would just charge here, so he actually, what did he do? He just did nothing. Okay. Yeah, he just did nothing. Okay. So super neutral jump, I think, actually uh, evades it, I think, question mark? I'm not really sure. Okay. What the, why is the video so, uh, crept out? I don't know. I don't know what all this was about, but you found a hit somehow. I actually don't like this. Okay. Okay, what the fuck? So first off, um, I don't know what the sequence is about. Like, jab, jab, heavy punch, question mark. Um, 
Then you like hit him out of what move is this? I always forget. Is it this that's one second? No. This that's one second? No, that's ten seconds. That's one second, there we go. He did crush medium kick, okay. I guess he was trying to dodge in the string or something. Then you hit him, you get a heavy counter hit, you have like plus 100 on Dizzy to work with, and you go for an immediate reset. I don't really like this, because you have like so much more damage to work with. You should be killing him for this. You should get like, at least this much damage, before you go for a reset here. Because you'll get the plus 100, then you'll do some undizzy as you continue your combo, and then you'll like actually try to reset afterwards. But I guess you do this, whatever. You motherfucker still mashing, Jesus fucking Christ. And you still do the thing immediately, and I still don't like it because you have no undizzy at this point. But maybe you can kill him here, I'm not really sure. I don't really know how much damage Headless is doing anymore. I don't think you'll kill him, maybe with two bars you might. And maybe with two bars you might. I don't know what happened in the video. Uh, cool, you discovered a hit. Can you kill him here? I th think you can? I don't really know. But again, like if he had more in Dizzy, you'd guarantee the kill, so it doesn't really matter. You caught him out of his back dash, because he tried to push block, so... You flub your hit though, so it does kind of fuck. Okay, now he has charge. So now you have to be aware that he has charge. Um, I actually have much to say here. Because it all worked out, I guess. It's a little kind of scrubby and weird, so I don't... Fuck, actually, no. Get ATH. Don't reset. Cool. So, now he has charge. You're doing this shit. Yeah, I would be fucking scared. Cause now he can do anything you want. he can like level two sing and you're basically at his mercy. The fuck? Why is my video recording so terrible? And are you like swinging with this shit? Okay, now he has charge. I would immediately not even do this. Like this is fucking scary. Once he's once Big Band is in front and Squiggly's behind, I literally just don't commit to shit anymore. I just go, maybe I'll launch you, maybe I won't. That's the mix up you have to play, I think. Because otherwise it's really scary because you might just get hit by some dumb shit. And Squiggly's gonna hurt if she hits you with anything stupid. Even with like SPO start, it's fucking annoying. So, like the fact that you're swinging this badly, like Jedi should be killing you for this. But he's not, I don't know why. Uh, I guess he doesn't feel threatened at all even though her character's really low on life. Uh, cool. And you're swinging with, the fuck is this? The fuck is this plan? <laughs> What the fuck is this plan? I don't really know what this plan is. And then you just get hit. And because he got hit, you know, it's time to suck pick. I don't know why he charged again. Uh, oops. Wow, sucks to be you. I don't know why the fuck you did this. This is terrible. Wow, still holding up back. He should be deity here at some point. Yeah, he'll do this shit. He'll fucking kill you. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, you dead. <laughs> That's why, like, you have to be really, really, really afraid. <laughs> Cause you double died because he just messed up once. Okay, he flubbed his incoming. Ooh. Again, like, be better at confirming your hits. But I guess I mean that's not fault. That's like not faultable, I guess. He takes that. That's good. The fuck is he doing? I guess he's really rusty. Okay, dash up low. Is this good? Flub your hit. Flub your combo again. Okay. Yeah, he gets the corner here. That's good on him. He's gonna low throw you. Oh, he's gonna full combo you. Okay. Oh, I don't know why you. Oh, I guess that's fine. You didn't take that. Level three. <laughs> uh, you should have confirmed this. Yeah, but this is a really bad habit of you. You like don't hit confirm your like starting strengths. Bad at hit confirm in your. You did it well when you you were like blocking stuff on the ground, but like blocking stuff, you were doing some air strings, and then you weren't really confirming them. Jump and 
Also, again, I'm not reading the chat until the matches until my like analysis is done, and then I'll like comment afterwards. But like, I wouldn't gamble on this, but especially because it was like a counter hit, so you would just guarantee the kill. Uh, but you just guarantee the kill here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ba ba ba. Yeah, cool. Whatever, boy. Uh, yeah, flub that. So, yeah, and you die. Like, I mean, that kind of, it's kind of like an uneventful match, I guess. Because not a lot of stuff actually happened in it. Not a lot of stuff, like, that was, like, Jedi-specific. Just kind of, like, basic stuff, like, uh, have a plan for round start. But, like, you had played several games before, so maybe it was different. So, kind of hard to say. You got a heavy counter hit, and then you, like, did a reset immediately in your combo. That's kind of bad. Go get some damage. And you needed to hit confirm your jumping string. So that was that. Maybe next time I'll do like a set or something. Uh, I wasn't sure how many matches we we're gonna get this time. Maybe maybe next time we'll get more matches because we'll have actually have actually have a Denison footage. So so either way, that's uh, that. I'll read the chat now. Ba 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 ba. I thought in Mouse Daisy Pusher video. H didn't work, but I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure H should work. I don't know why it wouldn't. Uh, yes, yeah, general use a good to know your sister. Yep, that's a that's a good thing that H brought up. I'm guessing that's H. Um, otherwise you have to get so give us fish immediately. Yep, that's good. Uh, uh Parasol can do. Uh, 2 MP. Philia can't really do much. Um, I think I can do IED I I jump LP, but that's about it. I can't remember. A one only auto pass a DP away from triple. Well, yes. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Or uh, your DP, you like. Uh, DP jump in. Push blocked. Push. DP A DP JHP ADC JHP every time do different stuff. Cool. Where is Perry? I mean, I'm... yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. There's not much to say here, honestly. I will chuck this in the analysis chat. Cool, I will need this, yeah. I will try that next time. Thank you, CJ. I just take the chat. So. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's. Um. Do different stuff is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. Do different if they can deal with it, but like. You just know that you can do different stuff as well. Like, just having the awareness that you should be doing different stuff depending on the situation is pretty good. And like try to see what actually happens after they push block you and they and you do DP, like what are the what is the actual scenario like? How advantaged do you are, how advantaged you aren't, etc etc. But I guess that's about that. So I will check that over. Take notes Um what's the date today? Cool. Okay, now Nephi. Versus me. Oh, poos. This is a fucking bitch. Why is it clicking that one? I don't want that one. I want the other one. Don't give me that shit. Give me the other one. Cool, there we go. It no, it kept clicking the um It kept clicking clicking the other shit. That was annoying. Cause um I'd go to this and I wonder I wanna hover on the second one, but then it kept hovering on the first one anyway. It was really annoying. I have to hover on the second one I have to hover on the third cell to be able to get to the second cell. And the other one will the other one. It's really dumb. I don't get it. But, uh, yeah. So, um... What did Niffy say about this? 
For mine, I know what I did wrong in the first half. Many no interesting analysis after Ben dies. Okay, cool. So I'll just kind of skip over when Ben goes. Go on with this. Actually, I should move this over to my first screen. So now it's easy for me to see the chat as well. Uh, cool. I'll just talk about this and then I'll read chat again, uh, as I wanted to say. Uh, but I'll also pull up this thing. I will remove this. Oh, it is already 9 p.m. in the tea, so I don't really need this. Uh, Konnichiwa, Urusan, and all that. And uh, now this is Nephi versus me. Ultra Satanic. Cool. Maybe that should be my tournament handle from now on. Okay, cool. Uh, this shouldn't work, I don't think. Why did this work? Was oh, this the music alright? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? I don't really know. People haven't said anything about it, so... I mean, I'm, I'm presuming it's okay. I don't think this should ever work. This is not that quick. It's really fucking hard. Like, you were jumping here. You got hit by some dumb shit. Let me slow mo this. Cool. What did you do? You just super jumped. Or jumped? Or super jumped? Make music to decibel quieter. I can make the thing a bit quieter. There we go. Cool, there we go. That should be alright. I think. But, uh... Oh, you still can't see my mouse. So if I'm not hovering... If the video... If the window is not active, you can't see my mouse on it. That's weird, but alright. Cause you can see my mouse here, and now you can see my mouse here, but I had to change the video, I had to change the active window to be able to see the mouse, it's kinda weird, but whatever, it doesn't make a difference. So you, I think that is a super jump, but I can't really tell, but either way you shouldn't be, I don't know why you're like, not blocking, <laughs> basically, cause you know you're gonna get hit by something like this, and I'm gonna go full Chambini from this shit, I'm gonna put that to full speed now. Okay, I saw that and I was like, "This is the best time to go for a cross-up. It's not. It's gonna work." Uh, and then I'm gonna be ecstatic. I should have not done this, but kind of whatever. Uh, I should have supered here, not supered um, pillared here. But I'm fucking terrible. So it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna talk about Ronsa. Don't get hit by para JLP. That's like the easiest way to play against play on side against uh, Parasol. This isn't don't get hit by this. You can jump lock, you can um just wait on the ground, you can backdash. Backdashing is fine against Parasol, you don't lose that much. Cause if she jumps in the air like that, like a lot of characters, every other character in this game can do something about their air momentum once they've jumped. Parasol is not one of those characters. Uh or like they can like double jump or something. Parasol doesn't have a double jump. If she's committed to her air buttons, she can't really do anything anymore. Uh, she has to land in a particularly, in not particularly, he, she has to land in a specific spot and th then you can pressure her. She doesn't have the best normals for coming down immediately. You can drill her as she lands. There's a bunch of mixes you can do just by backing off safely. And if you actually call out her dash, uh, her, her jump, if uh, you don't actually interact with it. So that's something to note, I guess. Uh, I get hit. I don't know why you, you didn't confirm it. it. Sucks to be you. Uh, I'm just kind of backing off and I fuck up. Okay, whatever. Uh, I You can do this slower, by the way. So the two jumping heavy punches on combo. It's not that big of a difference. Um, but like, you are scaling, like, you'll go. Stand light punch, stand heavy punch, jump heavy punch. The fourth jumping heavy punch will get scaled. 
uh, which like doesn't kill us quickly, but I think it, the, the difference isn't that big, so. It's just a small thing. I don't think it's actually that uh, eventful, but you know, whatever. Cool, now I have Olympic Band. I double jump back on incoming, it's sick by me. I do my epic Bombini Chombini Blastiza. Pa pa pa. That kills faster, by the way, than any other double snap that Big Band has. That's why that's really important. I snap in for the air. I expected the tear shot to hit, uh, but it didn't. Kind of just whipped under. So. I guess this is what Nephi actually wanted to look at, right? Okay, so. Let's look at why you got hit. The most important part of the game. Okay, first of all, like, I don't think there's any reason not to push block this clap. Oh, uh, where the fuck is this? I hate space. There we go. I think... Uh, there's a reason to, um... Not push block this. Because now you're, like, actually still getting mixed up. I just blind... I'm just... When, when I have this combination... Like big band and the pencil in the back, my brain like actually just turns off, and I just do the stupidest things I can, and they'll all work because tear shots in the back. So I was gonna do this regardless, because I did the clap and he didn't push block it. That actually allows you to do other things about it, like immediate sweep. Immediate sweep as Philia is really important against big band because it'll cut the armor, and that's really 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 important because you don't have other ways to beat it, and you don't really have other ways to. Uh, you have like you, you have to gamble on like. Oh, is, is he gonna, am I gonna be able to jump block the brass and I'll get hit by the A-Train or whatever. Shit like that will happen. So I think sweep is like super, super important. You could do it here. You couldn't do it if you didn't push rocket, but you didn't push rocket, so I don't know why you didn't sweep. Um, if you didn't mean, if you didn't want to sweep there, I think you shouldn't be push blocking. Well, like you should be push blocking, sorry. Uh, you get hit by this. You are literally blocking the frames before, so I don't know what's happening. Uh, I fuck on a combo. You call this copter. I don't know why. If I was more cognizant, I would just brass and call tier again. Or I just brass and then super in the safety at sea. And either way, Cerebello would take massive damage. Philly would take some chip. Uh, either way, really terrible call. Why is this video so slow? What the fuck is this? Uh, some shit. Again, you just literally gave up space like that. Oh, just new to jump block here. It doesn't. Uh, you're not gonna get mixed up by anything stupid. If you get A train, then I, I mean, I guess. But A train would lose to up back as well. <laughs> the tier shot is there. You can't do shit. Uh, I would do more jump light punch in these sort of scenarios if we turn to air to air, like this big band. Reason being, because, uh, air throw is like this big. You can see my mouse. Air throw is like this big, but big band's collision box, which is the one you actually have to grab, is like this big. It's not actually this big. You can't, like, slide under him, shit like that. Like, this is what you want to be grabbing. And Philly's grab is like this. It's not actually this big. Also, there's a tarantula. I never noticed that. Her grab is like this. And Big Ben's grab box is this. Whereas, if you did like a jump light punch, his hittable box is all this. And your jab would hit over here. So, you can do jab until heavy hairball. And then you can go copter. Then, copter is really, really good. Because then you have to deal with some guaranteed bullshit. So, that sort of stuff would be really, really important in this sort of spot. But because you try to air throw and air throws are effectively smaller, you can read about that more in the end here guide that I made. Uh, I think I explained that in a bit of a detail, but not too much. And certainly not without illustrations anyway. So. But uh, yeah, because of that, you like lose this opportunity. You can, and again, I'm telling you, my mind is off. My mind is actually like turned off. I'm like, actually doing some dumb shit and it works out. I don't taunt. I don't know why. I probably should be taunting. I didn't confirm that. Sucks to be me. Um, one thing I think everybody should be better more in this is uh, be ready to deal with like whiff air throw versus actual jump in scenarios. Because I think this shit shouldn't be flying. I think this should get mashed out. Like uh, this. Where is it? Is that girl right here? 
Yeah, hey, this. I don't think this should work. I think this is really scrubby, but like you're not ready to deal with it, I guess. Most people aren't. I am terrible at this game. Again, but my main brain just turned off. Uh, it's gonna interrupt. I'm sick. Again, like I'm just doing shit. <laughs> I should have just blocked this. Uh, you IPS your combo. Uh, I guess. Okay, brass. BB versus Vilia. I should actually be making notes. I'm really bad at making notes. Uh, um. Do lots more sweeps. It. Um. Uh. Since, um, it will beat the brass versus a. Train mix up. Unless you are at significant disadvantage. Um, what else was really bad? Let me go back and watch some of this. Start about here. Uh, be ready to take ethers. Actually, I was gonna. That's another thing I was gonna say. Uh. Be ready to tech more air throws versus big band on him. He is already grounded. One trick you can do actually, which is pretty important, I, I use it a lot, and I don't think other people like consciously consciously use it, is input an air throw tech really late. Because um if you if as you're landing, you'll do an air throw. And even if they don't try to bait it immediately, most people will like do a low throw when you land. And uh, your ether take is basically free. Unless they like try to specifically try to frame trap that point. Uh, I guess how do I explain this? Uh, I think it's, it's about here, it's pretty good. Uh, ba -ba -ba, it kills. So here, right? I do a meaty ether, or like try to do a meaty ether. If you wait a little bit and then just input a tech, you will take this throw. Uh, you will take it at like the very end of the tech frames, uh, tech uh, window. You will take it, and if I try to low throw you immediately as you land, or low throw you right as you land, you will actually like your air throw will whiff, but you will land, and now you can block immediately. It's not like smash or whatever where you have like landing lag from doing something in the air. Uh, you will land immediately, and then you can deal with that mix up after that. So that's something I think you should be defensively aware uh, once Big Band is around. Or like once Big Ben is doing an incoming. If Big Ben is doing the double jump incoming, that doesn't hold true. So just I don't know, just guess better and or like react to where he is. Yeah, I think it is somewhat reactable if it's not set up properly. So just be aware of that. Just because like this worked twice and I like my brain is absolutely turned off right now. I am not caring if this works or doesn't. So uh, maybe it's worse if it doesn't work. Like if the t Aether is tick, most characters will have to block the tear shot. So I don't really know. But like, eating an aethro will probably kill you here, so that's good detect. But like, just be aware. Also, why you uh... Awful... Prioritize not getting hit by Brass. Because Brass will give you a full combo. It's like a safe option, because if you block it, you'll get hit by that dumb shit. And uh... If it hits, he's getting a full combo, and if it's blocked, he's safe. So just, it's like a stupid option that you just be blocking. You should just be blocking, sorry. I dropped the combo because I tried to be a swag lord, a bad assist call. Again, like, that literally doesn't do anything. It's like, you're not calling Beam or Yamcha or whatever, you know? Again, you have to block some dumb shit. Again, like a bad assist call. Uh, try more Aethro. No, no, try more JLP air to air instead of Aethro. Because again, the Aethro will actually not connect uh, a lot of the time, whereas the jump like kick, a uh, jump like punch will. And again, now my brain is just turned off. You can't really do much about this shit, honestly. The best thing you can do is more sweep. Uh, because Philia Sweep will go under the tier shot, as far as I know. Um, but either way, yeah, like you'll you'll eat the tier shot. Doesn't really matter that much. 
and you'll beat you'll break the brass armor and you'll like get a knockdown on him and get like a sweep chunk of damage which is pretty good it's not great but like it, it's something i guess uh yeah That sort of stuff, uh, the jumping, defending better against jump and throw, jump button versus MP jumps to like jump air throw, is like, I think that this sort of stuff should be reactable and like is an opening you can get, because otherwise this is like free shit you can get on people, you know? Um, like, they'll whiff an air throw and you'll not react and they'll still get pressure as like, as if they blocked something and they wouldn't be able to push block you. Like, think about, think about how good that scenario is for you. That's pretty good. But if you were able to react to, um, the fact they did just like an uh, they did like a whiff air throw and you just you try to contest contest it immediately i think that sort of stuff is really important otherwise you basically give them a free turn and you don't want to give somebody a free turn it's fucking stupid why would you ever do that i am the best player in the fucking world don't ever forget it i'm the best player in the world don't forget it i'm the best, best player in the world don't forget it <laughs> uh i don't block that i'm the best player in the world don't forget that uh ips I, I would push lock that, but again, like, that sort of stuff is fine. I think that isn't something to complain about that much. But again, like, what do you get, you know? You get this. Fine. I take away. Like, you had to read that. It sucks to be you. Uh, you jump on the sweep, you get a combo. <sighs> again, my brain is absolutely turned off, and I'm, like, not caring. <laughs> so, like... This is so brain dead for me. And like you really had to do a lot better than what you were doing uh at like um fuck I don't know how you even put it honestly. Mm, what could you do better? I think what I, I um with Bella what do you think you could do? Um Uh, one thing you could do actually is um, uh, run, tank the brass, then 360 immediately. You could try that, I think, because it like if they just do brass into nothing, it'll hit. Uh, if they do brass into SSJ, it might eat your input, but it might hit. Um. And like, what else, what else they can do? Level 3? Like, if they had 3 bars, then I guess they could. But most people aren't gonna react with level 3 if their brass gets hit, the brass gets hit, you know? They're gonna, they're gonna SSJ, because of course they would, and because they want the safety at T. So, it'll beat that. I guess if they had level 3, that kind of beats everything, but like... I guess you could like, run into level 3 as well, somehow? Question mark? I don't really know. But like, that's something you could try more. It's just running. Uh, and because like running as big band like you have to beat that with like a very specific set of options So I think run and then 360 could be pretty good against this sort of stuff uh, I think um, He had landed like a jump and he didn't get the combo like that sort of stuff was pretty important To turn the tide of the match But yeah, I think that's about it uh, Now I'll read the chat Fuck here's this Uh, what is an option to beat beat run start jump edge uh, light punch dash eight punch yes uh, I again kind of mentioned it um, just uh, I think just waiting is fine because it does it doesn't it immediately so if they do a rising jump light punch I think Philly can beat it really easily with like anything as soon as it whiffs you kind of just go ham you can you can just wait it out uh, you can even back dash and then like try to drill her as she lands I think that sort of stuff is really underrated. Uh, Demise, Demise does that really well actually, he'll just wait for me to do it and then he'll go in Because now I literally can't do anything to save myself unless I had like an assist before me, be uh, around me beforehand Jump by people to, uh, yeah, like again that's, yeah, you just go back and like Uh, if Parasol didn't commit to the jump, you're pretty okay, you're eating like a tear shot, that's about it Um, you're not getting zoned to hell, so Uh 
Is Philly a hate for you saying Mr. being coming okay? Or does it get timpanied? I am pretty sure it gets timpanied. I don't care because most people don't timpani. So. Or most people will like mess up their timpani. They can't do timpani like midi. Uh, they can't do like reversal timpani on incoming very often. It doesn't get beat that often. So I'm not bothered to deal with it. Check in general. Alright, uh, do I check general? Oh, uh, where is it? Huh. Which general is he talking about? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Yo! Sick. Cool. Oh, uh, where is this? Um. With fair throw in a situation where jump like is suspected, he's expected to be minus. Well, yes, but like. Think about that. Think about the fact that if he's blocking a jump like kick immediately, if he if he literally just hits a button there, you don't even have to react. Like if you think about that, you don't you don't even have to. Let me let me go back to a spot where like that's what's happening. That's like a, that's literally the spot where it like happened. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> it's like right here. I think it's around about here. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this. So, if he does, if I do this, right? He, if, if he tries to time a button as I land, he's not going to get it. Because he'll be stuck in the block stun. Whereas, if um, I, like, try to air throw him, he might either punish me, or he'll pressure my landing. Both of them are really, really good scenarios. As opposed to not doing anything when you expected a jump in to happen. And then like trying to do things after uh, things afterwards. You can even like I'm pretty sure you can even option select a push block in here, if you think about it. Uh, by um. By like doing like a jab and then two buttons. Because you'll get a double jab string if your character has those, I guess. If you if you um. If you um. If the if the if the jump normal doesn't come out, you'll get it immediately. You get like a double jab string, which will pressure their landing or like just punish them, I guess. Or if they did a button, they like you have to you block it and then you can like reaction push block or even your option to the push block comes out. So I think reacting to that stuff with like not blocking and actually hitting a button, I think is super important because it, it like is a free turn otherwise. Uh, Okay, in both cases, he could have crunch air punch it here. Where, where is this? Uh, what's the context of this? Crunch air punch it here. Where is the crunch air punch? Hey, punch in here is supposed to be. Oh, with Bella. Oh yeah, when Big Ben's jumping in, I guess. Is it like here? No, it's like before that, right? Yeah. Yeah, here. Um, I mean, I guess. I think Stand Like Kick is a better end here. Crouch Air Punch is really slow. But, I mean, I guess it could. I don't really know. When he is tier on him, he should punish an MGR. E e yes, actually. Question? Where is this? Uh, here you can't punish because the tier shot is there. Wait, excuse me? Is that her tongue? Well, that's her tongue. I wouldn't know. I or is that her open mouth? I can't tell. I think that's her tongue. I've never noticed this. It's like sticking her tongue out or something. Yeah, he could MGR here. He could 360 as well, but MGR is also pretty good here. Yeah, that's a good point actually, yeah. You could MGR there. Instead of crush like kick. Yeah, jump like into MGR. This thing uh, whatever. HL and L is a tank sparse in tier. So you can just run to the armor direction. Um Important for the block delay button always is not to chicken blocks in the line scan Yes, that's pretty important. Um yeah. Uh okay, where is this? HL and L also brass, tanks brass and tears, so you can dash on for armor reaction. Yeah, it's pretty good too. I think run is pretty good. I think run is mostly really, really good. Because, like, you don't have to think about it at all. But, yeah, that's also another option. 
uh, basically it's really it wasn't as bad as it felt i missed all the opportunities that i had which was kind of bit and as well i need to utilize armor more i think that's about it yeah i think um as Philia, you like what what happened here you like you had some spots where you could like do stuff that you weren't doing like you weren't thinking about it. like i think sweep again i actually used a lot more sweep i played against mal today and i like whenever he'd be big ben and i'd be Philia, i try to just spam sweep and i think it's really good um because it'll just it'll break both Bross and A-Train. And I don't have to think about that mix-up. He can jump at me. But I can like cancel the drill into a fireball. If I can see the jump start up immediately. Like I'll just go drill into... No sorry. um Sweep into drill. And then like he might just jump into it or something. Or I can uppercut. So like just recognizing that I think is really important. Of course he can also wait. But who big, big bands never wait. Uh, no, this crushing person. Is it? I don't really know. I mean, I, I'll take your word for it. I meant when he whiff a train his face and tears coming to steal his turn. If he crushed like kick, he shouldn't be Yes, he could. MG are better at the 50, but he should put most of scenarios. Yeah, whatever. I think run kind of sucks because Ben can meet your arms or some shit like that. I mean, he can, but like, I mean, if he's doing that, then like he's not brassing or a training, right? You have to think about what things you are threatening. Um,. Like, like, uh, immediate up back brass is like, uh, sorry, up back symbols is not really. I don't fucking know. I don't really think it's that common of an option. Most people will like jump and then fall down and then symbols. So, and by that time, you can kind of tell and you can just like stop running. Uh, you can't cancel throw. What if a throw is unsafe until the jumper lands or double jumps? Which the either. Yes, but the point is that you will, if you're if you're incoming like that, you will fall immediately and you will land immediately. So it's not that unsafe. You will like you will go fall and by around about here you will do an a throw and then you will land. So you're not an a throw animation anymore. That's the that's the important point. You can't cancel throw animation in those. Yes, uh, I'm not reading mean chats. But yeah, I think like in those sort of spots, like grab Bella grabs are really good options. Uh, CJ mentioned like when he when I'm with an MGR, not MGR, A train, and like a tear is coming, uh, you can you can just MGR and try to kill me. Uh, that sort of stuff is pretty good. When nobody does it, so it doesn't matter. Haha. <laughs> okay. So that's that match. I'll, I guess we'll just finish it. Just for plus 30 sec. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, actually, I wanted to say one thing. Would people prefer it if we, um, after I've done the analysis, like, I, I watch one match, I do the analysis. Uh, what was I going to say? I I do one ma analysis of the, uh, of the match already. I have the match playing. Um, I have the match playing and I read chat and stuff. And then after that, we, like, discuss the points that we brought up. And I like, uh, we like watch the match in its full entirety and then, um, we like, we like discuss stuff afterwards. Well, people, like, basically I'm playing the match after, I'm playing the match up now as opposed to like just quitting and going to the next match. Would well, people prefer to watch the whole match again? Because I think it's pretty cool because we can like wait and stuff, talk more stuff about it. Uh, that's a good D drop, but like, what's the reward? Nothing. <laughs> you get this, like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Any mess up, so again, I'm back to neutral. Uh, no combo, that sucks. Is it there in Ocarina? I don't fucking know. The music is at the thing over there. Next to where the notepad is. Coulda 316. You coulda. Coulda, coulda, woulda, am I right? You still have land recovery on the ground because land reframes and allow you to block for the future frames. Yeah, but it's not that much. Like, people aren't gonna meet you immediately. People wait a little bit. People aren't that good at it. Oh no, Big Ben's burst syndrome in Ocarina. I don't fucking know. Where is it? Is all these things? What's an Ocarina? Ocarina. Oh! I guess it is. What a dweeb. I wouldn't know that. But yeah.
360 whenever you whenever you want to do your episode. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Because you don't have a full combo of a diamond drop. So it doesn't matter. And your conversion of the MG uh, the 360 is like into a super anyway. So you are spending a bar regardless. So yeah, kinda of whatever. Oh uh, that's that. This was 10 uh, oh, 01 pretty crony. I'll color these just because I'm just so I know I've analyzed these. I mean it is, but at the same time, like you also have to think about like what the reward is, right? Like higher risk, higher reward. Uh what color should we go with? What color should we go with? Is it this one? Ah jeez, that's too dark. That? That's also kinda of dark. That's good. That's a good color. And now CJ. Um I prefer just talking myself, but if you really want to voice chat, I mean I guess you can. Uh but I'm just gonna do this, so. Okay. Which game? Okay, cool. From his perspective. Did I mention, like... Hey. Yeah, oh. Okay, so I guess I'll just do first game. Because I would just kind of want to do one game. Because it's like 10. I'm kind of tired now. Uh, work was really annoying. Uh... Solo, anal, then chat review seems to work well. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I wanted to uh, post this, by the way. Where is, uh... Tim Snell's corner. Cool, there we go. Can I send my set? Absolutely. Use the code analysis. And you will fill out the form, and it will go into the spreadsheet, and I can read it, and all that sort of good stuff. So... Cool, cool, cool. So this is Carl versus. Ooh, okay. Cool. Is it? Is that how you say his name? That is how you say his name. I don't even know that. I just guessed. <laughs> but um, okay. So I guess just one game. I'll just do this one game. So, um, okay, run start. Where is run start? Uh. So those are two threats that I think uh, double has, like, that are the, the, the um, highest reward and the least risk. So those are the two things I kind of want to avoid, right? The best thing to avoid, the best way to avoid them is just blocking, but I don't want to block any of them because now that he, she gets pressure. So if you have some ways to avoid getting hit by both of these, then I think it's pretty important. If you can stick at something of your own that's higher priority, then it's also really good. Um, I think Butt Bros might actually be really, really good here because you can just do um, things and it'll just beat it. But I'm not really sure how that fares against uh, jump and then double jump um, and uh, jump a hate punch. So. Uh, so that sort of stuff is pretty important to remember. Devil's Run Star is pretty fucked, so I don't really know. Um, <laughs> Bazinga. Literally, like, what I was saying, like, didn't work out at all, and you got hit by Jump A Bunch, and you try to do your high priority shit, and you lose the character. So, I don't know much to say about that, and then I just get fucked, I guess. Hmm. Fuck are these frames? Um, I don't know why you got hit high here. Oh god. Um, slow the video down.
look at the screen please that's literally a look at the screen problem getting high get, getting hit high here but mouse back confirming so bazinga works out a mini bros uh works out for you give him a schmix i am r really surprised you didn't uh do the uh, the cross up thing uh flesh tap sorry but whatever kept him same set anyway and killed him gonna fuck whatever uh finish your combish gambinos I'm gonna no, I'm gonna call it combinos. There you go. Because this will happen. Well sucks to be you. And he's gonna do the thing. He's gonna not have the bar. Sucks to be you, Taylor. <laughs> I wonder if it's wood snapping. I don't think it is. You dropped the combo, so it doesn't matter. You made a wrestle, that's fine. Don't get a combo here. Yeah. Ooh, nice hit It's pretty good, actually. You play this really well. Um. Ha uh -huh. Okay, so I think if you go are going to air throw. If you are going to air throw. Uh. On. Incoming. There is no reason not to back it up with assist. Because. The way that works is that if you air throw and call assist, if they tech it, they have to block the assist, and then you get you know, more, then you get more pressure. And if they get hit, the assist doesn't do anything because uh, the assist is not gonna you know interrupt a combo or whatever. Uh, unless you're like George assist, I guess sometimes that, that's like relevant. <laughs> that's like irrelevant, sorry, because uh, you don't have it. So I think there is like no worth not to do this. Um, yeah, so be and then you like go in immediately, and it's like, okay, you still didn't call your assist there, so. Uh, I think because you're at 5 bar, you could also justify going for the Gehenna mix-up. Where you put down a, you put in a, a monster, and then you just do a cross-up or not. I think that's the, because that's like, I think that's the best mix-up in the entire game on incoming. You can't really, most characters can't do shit about it. And actually, every guy can't really do shit about it. They can, like, try to block it, I guess, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, I guess if you have a double jump, then you can try to double jump, but, like, you know, half the cast doesn't have a double jump, so whatever. So, I think Monster Incoming would be good here because you have five bars. Uh, your combo would literally not build meter, so, you know. Sometimes just spend it. Or if you're going to air throw, I think it's worth uh, just doing it. I think also you could do the, um, the, the mix-up that people do with big band that you could do with double you could do the jump medium punch stuff you can like super jump double jump and then falling medium punch and uh, depending on which side which timing and like what position and what side or whatever that's like a 50 50 of left right i think that is also really good and because it's a multi-hit it's like kind of hard to uh it's like kind of hard to push block, uh, push block effectively nice uh, reflect nice to score by the way smart biggest of brains <laughs> Sick. Well, fuck, he dropped it. <laughs> wow, I can't believe he didn't punish. This is the lot, a lot of not good, honestly. Oh shit! I messed it up. I messed it up. Nobody saw that. I messed it up. Oh, cool. Bazinga! Bazinga! Pulling a boy. Eh, it's not worth a gamble. Ah, ah, you can win! No! I can't believe you could win! No! That sucks. Uh. Or. Actually, or. Bar. Incoming. Honestly, don't have time to say about this match. I guess I can kind of watch it again and try to see more stuff. 
and then I'll look at the chat after this. I guess I can just refresh that. <laughs> I don't know if I can go back so much. Because I feel like I'm missing something. Okay. Again, your run slot doesn't work. I mean, sucks to be you. I'm not, I mean, I, I guess, like, that's, this is the dynamic I'm not really super specifically good on. Like, I don't really know what the full mix-up is and what the different options are and how safe it is to go for this. Like, how, how many options you have to really deal with a lot of stuff that Double does. Because Double Run Slot is fucked. So, I guess, like, maybe it's worth gambling this much. I don't really know. Cause like you lost like a, a third of your life bar basically, I mean even more, just cause you get strong on those. So I don't really know. Okay, you're blocking that. You're blocking all that. You like got this. This is like good, I guess. Like defended defended well in the corner. He gets hit by that, like, I mean, sure. He's gonna lose his dog for that, I think. This is where I say finish each one Yeah, there we go, finish each one <laughs> ah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You like drop this. I'm not trying to say you're baiting your reversal. Don't trying to say. Um. And you like kill Big Ben, like sure. Again, like you don't have a ton to say about this. Then you like try to do this thing on Peacock. You might lose double for this. I don't remember. I guess you don't. Oh, you lost double there. I forgot. <sighs> like bad assist calls and stuff like that. Cause like normally, normally it'd be fine to sacrifice your assist for that this little hit. But like double died, so you know it sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking Christ. Uh I am really surprised you didn't just win the game right there, but you kind know, of whatever I guess. And he just gets hit by like a jumping button, so you kind know, of whatever. Again, like, I don't think there's a ton to say about this match. He kind of just like, did your thing, and he kind of just did his thing. And it uh, worked out, I guess. I'll chuck these. Uh, I'll I'll do this later. Let's read the chat. Uh. Where is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taylor, T10. <-turn. laughs> now he's 380. The 310 is anime. He's not an anime player. Put some respect on Maris Krilly leapt against Russian side, he got most times. Yeah. Also, did the the thing work out for Tony? Cause uh it is loading here, so I'm not sure if it's not loading for him. But like fill out this form and it should work out. I'll refresh and see what happened. Nope, fucking refresh. There we go. It's still not working. 
That's wild. Okay. Um, dash card electric is dangerous. Yeah, let's run start. yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a risky run start. Maybe, like, if you go double point, it won't be as risky. I don't really know. That's the one thing is, like, you don't have consistent run starts against double. Maybe it's double's a good character. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, you're 2 meter, you can 8 Where is this? 8 Push my out. Oh, yeah, against, like, the jumping pressure and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. 5 meter, might as well use smart command cat heads. Yeah, I also said that. Uh, can you timpani it if you use button to cross up? For what? I have no idea what this means. Can you timpani it if you use button to cross up? I don't know. Maybe you'll have to, you'll have to tell me. <laughs> the block string was too. Yeah. Is this a situation idea with. Will I have. People with phone beaters? Yeah. Um, it was stationed earlier with Be with Bella hitting people for more. Maybe you a meter bonus to country reset. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, he could. Uh, that's not a thing. Like, where was this? Like, kind of, kind of around about here, I think. Yeah, around about here. He just like dropped it, so it's kind of hard to uh, say much more after that. Cause like now that he dropped it, now he has to like try to find his way back into neutral. And this shit, like he's gonna die for that. Should have if you should have three sixty, but like hindsight is twenty twenty actually. Uh, do more three sixty actually. Yeah, that's better. QDC three sixty, way better. Dynamo in turn. Oh, uh, weird that Mal got hit by the uh, kitchen blah, blah. Yeah, he said the same thing. I said the same thing. Referring to monster. Can he button into timpani? Um, I don't think so. I am pretty sure you cannot. It's really hard. It like oh, it, I. From what I recall, the monster activates like two frames after um the button after the after they recognize the proximity. I think it's a couple of frames, but I th I have not been able to reliably beat it. Plus, like double does have a double goes under where crush medium kick medium punch sorry, and Timpani simply doesn't go low enough, uh, early enough to be able to beat it. If you do with crush medium punch, I don't think it's I don't think you can. I don't think Big Ben can use Timpani to beat it, and he can't parry because it's a hit grab, so he can't even do that to beat it. So he has to, he's pretty fucked. I mean. <laughs> Finally, he has to block, right? Uh, I don't think I don't think he can. You could test it, I guess, but I'm pretty sure you can't. I am 99% certain. So yeah. Plus, like, even if it trades, the monster will still activate, right? I'm pretty sure. Because the monster will be in the process of activating, and it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go away. I might be, might be spreading misinformation here. I'm not really sure. I'll check Mizumi Wiki. What? Oh yeah, ramen. <laughs> ramen and sake. That's sick. Uh, double. Doesn't stop if it appeared already. Yeah, there we go. So, like, even if it, as soon as it activates, you can't really do anything about it. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the match. Uh, I guess I'll let this play out. Again, don't have. Uh, you maybe could have won there. I'm not really sure. What's the winning hit that happened here? See you. Maybe that's something worth testing. Like for two minutes. That you maybe can you kill here or not? Depends on the. It obviously depends on like the uh, uh, the assist that comes in because like different assists are different um cooldown. Well, not cooldowns, sorry, taunt. Like, they have their assist taunts, they do the thing and then peace out. Big Band, I'm pretty sure you could kill Big Band there, but maybe double, you couldn't kill double there. 
Uh, I'm gonna so Tony yeah maybe you could still like super I think if you were like really really aware you could still just super I guess but you couldn't do afterwards do anything afterwards uh, I'll just play the match one more time and uh, talk about some stuff kind of briefly but also read chat so oh, okay you can't super okay okay yeah, I meant to meant like the cancel on the super. So. Again, like this shit. Like I don't fucking know what you do. <laughs> I don't know how you like try to be this, be safe in this on stop. Again, the thing you're blocking. Bazinga, bazinga. This worked. Just up forward and call fucking. Uh, Millie, <laughs> Mill, uh, mini LNL, whatever. I mean, you just have to give it on ground. Asta. I don't like that, but I see what you mean. I I guess. I don't know what you do. Mini breast pog. <laughs> Elbow. Hmm. I suppose. That's again that like if you if you don't guess right, like if it just whiffs, you might just die. It's really really risky. <laughs> This is a really bad play on Mas part. He like hoped that he would pull the three bars though, I guess. Fucking hell. That's very, but like doesn't matter. Fuck you, yeah, five bars, just spend it. Like I don't know why he just fucking spend it. Age would do the the most ring coming here every time. And you'd rather do this shit. You gotta want here. So Like goddamn. As opposed to like potentially just losing your double, <laughs> like you could just you could just kept it going, and now you're gonna call your sister again. He's gonna and she's gonna die, like Bazinga, and she did. <laughs> so that's pretty fucked. <laughs> Cause I think if he had yeah, but wham. <sighs> if Tony's still around, I don't know if he tried to use the form stuff. I, it should work, because I just literally just did it. <laughs> That's a little pretty buzzing. I don't know about falling with elbow here. I don't think it's worth it. Like, I mean, I guess you're trying it. Wait, where was it? Fucking hell. Yeah, like here, you could do like the level 3, I guess. Or just grab into super again, that would have been pretty good too, so. And then you should have died here actually, <laughs> I think about it. Yeah, it, like even if you grab into super, or <laughs> I should have spent the 3 and go for reset, <laughs> but wow. <laughs> I mean, like, let's look at the life bar. Actually, I like. I don't even think. I don't even think that like, if you do the level three as like a low, like I don't think. I think you can just grab here. Okay, not here. Where is it? Just before that. Well, I guess, yeah, you can't really kill. Yeah, all of these would lead to another reset. So I guess I would still grab though. Because you can put her in the corner. So, kind of whatever, I guess. I don't really know. This is still fine though. I mean, like, all things considered. Like, if you didn't drop this, or whatever. So, eh. It's all sort of, sort of weird. Potion is really wacky. I don't really like the elbows. I think the elbow here was kind of bad. Like all this and not withstanding. I think the elbow here is kind of whatever. I see the idea though, I guess, because um, it makes your block immediately as you're jumping. Because you like fall right away, bam. And now you have to do this and boom, boom, wham. But like, I don't like the elbow here. 
I don't like the uh, One frame attempt, I mean, whatever. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the first one is fine. The, the the I don't like the second one. The more I looked at it, I was like, hey, actually, that's pretty funky. Then you just get hit by this, like whatever. So eh. If Tony's still around, I don't know if he's tried posting again. Or did he get by jump? Me and Pachinko coming? I think he was trying to double jump, but he didn't have it, or something, I don't know, he just, uh, he, he might have been trying to input teacup on incoming, just because he's a, he's a troll, but, I don't know, kind of weird I guess. Uh. What, like look at this, my mouse is here, and I'm trying to click. But it's literally like not clicking on that one. He. Yeah, actually, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like my mouse, my mouse just literally to be has to be literally over here for it to click the other one. Is it this one? No, that's not that one. That one? There we go. I'll just pick that color. Cool. Uh, like, look at this. Like, it's literally not clicking properly. I don't know what's happening. Uh, but yeah, cool. I guess that's about it for today. Otherwise, if anybody has any matches, use the um, analysis uh, command and then send them in. We're going to be doing this every month, so um, please make sure. Uh, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna be doing this every month on the second Friday of every month. So this time it's kind of hard because we didn't have a ton of footage. But hopefully from the Denizen streams uh, starting next week, uh, we have like a lot more footage uh, for people to actually watch for next time. So maybe that'll be pretty good. But, uh, yeah, again, like, I'm gonna stream for another five, uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, just, like, hang out, I guess. If people have stuff to say, I guess I can have some defending ID. Try the drawing thing? I guess I can. Where is this? Can you see my tabs? Oh, you can. Eh, yeah, whatever. Download, zoom it. Okay. Zoom it dot zip. What the fuck do I do here? After installing it, you should see a whatever whatever like this I I'm glad for the I'm glad he can't, is, can't see my downloads just from the exe instead of rotten creeper okay. I'm trying okay uh score I'll just check it here the music should be popping actually I'll extract it just because I want to zoom it Yes, actually. 
you are absolutely right, Carl. Okay, um, ag agree, sure. Um, draw, there we go. Why is it a control 2? Ah, uh, whatever, doesn't make a difference. I have key to do that. You can then draw on whatever you want to show off. Wait, what do you, wait, how do you mean? Where's, where's my EXE again? Where'd I go? Oh. It doesn't show up in my taskbar. That's weird. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's in my taskbar now, but it wasn't showing up in like the, um, on the bottom where like all the windows are and stuff. Okay. You can change the marker of the color. Oh, anytime you do this, it'll freeze. Whoa, what the hell? Why is it shrink a timer? I don't want to show a timer. Oh, it's control 2. Is it working? It's not working on the thing, so... display capture on OBS okay it needs to be window capture not game capture is this is my YouTube in game capture it's in window capture so if I do control 2 I do this it's not working it's likely to not work for blah blah, blah. it will work on display capture okay cool good to know uh, it needs to be display capture. So if I do this, I'll do Control F, move it under the overlay, cool. move it under the overlay. There you go. And then do like some like. Some, some like just this, I guess. Go to the video and do control two. Whoa, it's working. That's sick. Oh, um, oh, oh, dang. What different colors are there? That's cool. It works now, so that's even better. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess people if people don't have any or any more matches to submit, I'm gonna call it here because I need to go. Uh, I want to go and like sleep and stuff. But I think this is pretty good. I'd like to do this more. Yeah, sleeping should be great. I am looking forward to that. But I think that should be cool. I think this was pretty good. I think um, the format, I guess, from now on will be uh, I'll, I'll analyze the match, and then after that, I'll look at the chat, and then we can discuss the chat stuff as the match is playing again. Like, we'll, the first time I'll just watch it, I'll just analyze it immediately. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, kind of whatever, I guess. Um. I'll watch the match and I'll, I'll, I'll analyze it and then the second time I'll replay the match and I'll watch with the chat and like read what the chat was saying because I don't want to get distracted when I'm talking about it talking about stuff in the, on the first go it's really annoying <laughs> but um, after that I can like watch the, what the chat was saying and go okay yeah yeah, yeah this 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 and that and that and then after that we can play it even after that if there's more questions so I think a three play should be pretty all good Maybe for next time I'll have more matches. Um, I'll like allow people to actually put in entire sets, or like uh, like a best of five or something. 
uh, depending, I guess, depending on how many matches we get. Because, like, like in here, I think it will, we would be fine with like a best of three, or like a, a like a three set game uh, to watch it over and analyze it. But I think, like, I guess for the first one, it's kind of fine, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I am pretty done, pretty tired. More than five matches would be pretty long, yes. That's why I don't want to do it more than that. Like, I think a best of five at its best would be about right. Um, like, a couple of matches should be fine. Because most people don't change much stuff after the first few games anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So I think, like, first few games should be fine. I, and again, like, once the Denizen stuff starts getting recorded, uh, we should have a ton of stuff to... Uh, view immediately and people want to watch their sets back and be like hey i don't know what was going on and stuff like that that should be pretty good again um the analysis uh, command works in the twitch chat as well as the discord so if you have if you want to submit matches to analyze put them down at any point uh, before the next stream and then it, i can just view it when we have the next one but then, and like, yeah, so, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to stop the stream now because I need to go. And uh, is that all the time or only analysis streams? Uh, what is all the time? You can, you, the commands work all the time. You can put them in now. You can put them in like when we are streaming anything, you can use that. Yeah, you can submit whenever you want. I don't want it to submit now. I want, it, I want people to submit like in advance so that I know how much we have to do. We can chill it during Grandbad streams. I think it's fine to chill it all the time, every single time. Just because it's a monthly thing as opposed to like just kind of whatever. I'd, ra I'd rather like people just be fine with putting in matches uh, in in like, yeah, let's just do this and that's sort of, sort of feel, I guess. Anytime they're like, I don't really know how this went. I, they, they just chuck it in the analysis and kind of go, okay, yeah, I don't really know. And then when the month comes around, I'd be like, hey, let's actually watch and uh, do stuff. So. But yeah, I think this was pretty good. I am really, really tired, and I'm going to see you guys later.